In this video, we're going to have a little look at creating some wall art. Now, you can see here's a picture I uh, did a little bit earlier. So we're going to do something similar to this. I'm going to stick it on the other wall. So the first thing we need to do is file and open, or new rather, a new family. OK, and this is going to be a generic wall-based object. And then it opens up the different views for us. OK, so I'm going to do an extrusion. Click the rectangle. Stick it on there like that. I'm not overly worried exactly what size I did that at. Um, 160 is a bit too thick, so I'll just drop it to 25. Zoom in on the corners. There we go. So that is saying 2, 6. There we go. Let's make half of it. 600. And then we'll click on this one and change that to 1200. So that's that. Now the depth of the extrusion, uh, 250. I'll make it 800. There we go. So our picture is going to be 800 by 1200. Okay, next um, we could have a little look at this in view one. And we can see it's by there at the moment. So let's now change the material. So what I'm going to do is create a new material. Change the color just to a white. So that's like the canvas, you could say. Um, the image, make sure you've got yourself an image already. And I'm going to use this picture of an office building. OK, now I'm going to take you through this in a couple stages because I'd like to show you what it looks like first of all. So let's say OK and green tick. Now let's put it on realistic view. So at the moment, you can see it does this tiling effect, which isn't really what we want. So let's click it. And I forgot to rename that material, so I'm going to do that now. Rename Office Art. There we go. Now, let's click on the image, and it brings up the image editor. There are a few things we're going to be doing in this, but the first thing we're going to do is just remove the tiling effect and say done and apply and OK. And now we can see we just have a single image by there and a big blank white area. So let's go back in and change it again. So the scale needs to be changed. I would make the actual scale bigger than the area of artwork. So I'm going to make it 1400 by 1000. There we go. And now we'll say done and we'll go and have a look at that. So we can see it's getting somewhere, all right? But the position of it isn't right. It's too far off. We've got a white band on the side by there, and we don't like that. So we'll go back in. And now we're going to look at the position. So the height looked OK, so the Y I'll leave alone. But this one, I'm going to make it minus 100. And we'll have a little look and see what that looks like. Now we can see that's almost got rid of it all. So let's do a little bit more. Hopefully that will be correct. So let's try minus 150. Done. Apply. OK. There we go. So now we have a nice piece of building art by there. Or wall art. Now you'll notice that it's sat on the floor. That's OK, because when we load this into a project, we'll then tell it what elevation we want it to be. 
So what I'm going to do now, before we load it into the project, I'm going to go File and Save As. Save the family. And I will call it um, into there and call it Office Art. There we go. Now I can load it into the project. And it tells you which one you want to load it into if you've got more than one open. OK, and now we can see it's in our um, area. There we go. So we can just stick that by there. Now, there is still a little bit of a problem in that there's a gap between that and the wall. Now, if you was on a thicker wall, you may even find that the artwork is within the wall structure itself. So what I'm going to do is use a two dimensional section to cut through that area. And we can click on this as well, actually, and just see the elevation from. So I'll just make that 1200, say, and make it that's a bit too high. Maybe I'll do it as a meter. That looks a little bit better. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's go to a floor plan. Now you can see the artwork by here. So I'm just going to grab this section and drag it down to there. So now I can look at my section. And I can see that I have this artwork by here. So let's zoom in and take the tape measure out and just measure from there to the wall. And that's 12.5. So what we're going to do then is click on it, edit the family, takes us back. And we want to move this 12.5 in this direction. So 100 minus 12.5 is going to be 87.5. And there we go. And now we can load it back into the project and overwrite. And we can see it's automatically just connected itself into the wall by there. So when we look at it on our 3D view, it's now up against the wall with no gap. So that is how we create some 3D artwork and also avoiding the tiling effect of um, creating new materials.